What is up guys, Jeremy with everything I advise, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a throwback tweak, yes, this uh, came out a very long time ago, and it's been a very long time since I've reviewed it. Uh, so I figured, you know, some of you have probably seen it already, but I do have a lot of new subscribers, and some of you have might not ever seen this. Uh, I think this might be a regular thing that I'm going to be doing here is, you know, bringing back some popular tweaks that people tend to forget about over time and uh, showing them you guys again, bringing them back into the limelight here. Now this tweak is called Android Lock XT, and for those of you that don't know what it is, it basically allows you to change uh, your normal like numbered passcode or you know uh, keyboarded passcode into a Android style uh, dot to dot draw kind of passcode. So I'll just show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and just slide to unlock here. So there it is right there, and as you can see, you just basically draw whatever your uh, pattern might be to unlock, which is very cool. Uh, this is definitely a, a really cool tweak in my opinion. It runs so smoothly, that's why I really like this tweak. So we can go ahead and unlock here. I'll jump into the settings and show you what uh, Android Lock XT offers. First off, you have the on-off switch right there. Of course, you do have change patterns, so uh, you can change it to whatever you want. So that's my old pattern, and I could just simply do something like this now if I'd like, and then redraw it one more time to confirm it. So that is my new passcode. Pretty awesome. Next is change appearance. Uh, you can minimize, uh, slide to open, tap to open or no. You have your show camera button. Uh, that's more so for the uh, the old style lock screen which was on I believe iOS 5 that had the, the camera button not the actual slider. Uh, also here you have elements opacity. This is basically the way that the uh, you know the Android lock will look on the lock screen. You can change it to be you know more transparent or non-transparent at all. Where I have it set is kind of where I like it, where you can see through it just a little bit. Also here you do have your unlock text. You can input whatever you'd like right there. Pretty neat. Also this does, does come with a set of different themes. And there's also Winterboard themes within Cydia that do support this tweak as well. So that's pretty awesome that you know you can change the theme of it. Now here is behavior. There's a lot of little different things you can do with Android Lock XT in here. Uh, you have your error on wrong pa uh, pattern. So if you have that off, you won't get an error. It just won't do anything. Also, you have your uh, pattern required. You have it immediately after one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes. So that means, uh, let's just say if we switch that to after one minute, if I were to lock my device, it will not require me to draw my password until after one minute. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. Also, you do have max attempts. So you can set that up to nine or leave it disabled. I prefer to leave it disabled because I don't want to you know, screw myself of, out of getting into my device. Also, you have insecure mode, you have bypass passcode, and then another great feature, of course, of Android Lock XT is you can have skip pattern on Wi-Fi. So if you're connected to your Wi-Fi at home, it will not require you to input the pattern, but as soon as you leave the house and disconnect from that Wi-Fi, it will require you to use the pattern, so that's a cool feature. Then you do have logging here and stuff. I'm not going to touch too much on that. Uh, that's pretty much it. That is what Android Lock XT offers. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into Cydia. I'm going to show you how to get it. Now once you're in Cydia, of course, all you have to do is search out Android Lock XT. This is a paid tweak. It's only $1.50 though. It is from the Mod My I repo. Uh, definitely a very, very cool way to you know change uh, the way you input a passcode to get into your iPhone. Uh, definitely very unique and you know the numbers and typing on the keyboard does get boring uh, being able to actually you know draw a pattern is a, a very nice you know change to do on your device and that is pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this throwback tweak if you did be sure to throw me that thumbs up that does help me out tremendously also if you guys want to see more videos like this be sure to click that subscribe button this has been jeremy with everything i device and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace